What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Here to give you guys a review for Married to Medicine. Before I get started, <clears throat> is it me or does it feel like this season is truly finna give us everlasting life? Not to mention it's probably going to uh, be a hell of a lot better than the real households of Atlanta. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. But getting on with it, <clears throat> Jackie and Simone, they all talk revisiting the uh, party. And, you know, Jackie was like, you know, we were once there in terms of the whole fertilization thing. They kind of their whole little playback. And, you know, that was some whole thing. I guess she was trying to jar it into um, Quad's head that, you know, you ain't that far off and you need to be thinking about it. But one thing that was mentioned is even though that is how you may feel, no I understand that <clears throat> that ain't the right time and the place to do shit. Like, it's like you come in. And a friend about shit like that, you know, it's one of those where you pull a motherfucker to the side of you, you know, one on one, but not no shit like that. But anyway, she feels that she needs to talk to Quad, so we're gonna see how that go. Then we got Lisa Nicole. So then we got Quad. Now Quad, you know, and talked about, <clears throat> you know, her route in terms of, you know, going to school, uh, getting a degree, getting a good job, getting married, wishing her brother would do the same thing, but he went the whole opposite route and shit. Now, I was trying to be that for fucking now. We got Rasputia ass up in there. You know, hat you there. Okay. Got. <laughs> Bro, I, I, look, y'all, I'm sorry. I I, I I was trying to be that. I didn't think it was going to be a constant thing of us seeing the fucking week. So, she sit by dry stitch, you know, her boyfriend and shit, you know, because his dishes in the sink and whatnot. I quietly down the rules. They're not really paying attention to the rules and shit. So she takes her in there to um, make a uh, heirloom grilled chicken salad type of thing, jiggy. So she asks her, you know, do you know how to cut open a uh, uh, avocado? And she was like, you know, is it gonna squirt out? <laughs> and I'm saying, look at my face. <laughs> so Carl was just like, girl, you uh, in her crush, she could be spending more time in the kitchen now in my body. I was just like, <laughs> she already been, but before I could say Carl was like, but she already been in the kitchen, but she need to be in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, why you ain't shit? Oh, oh, but that shit was funny as fuck though. So now we got Janice and Toya. So I'm assuming Janice is going to be the new addition, and Janice from the Midwest. I would like to know where from the Midwest. I'm hoping from the shy. You know, just saying, shy time represents stand up. <clears throat> but she pretty much uh, mentioned, like I think uh, Toya was uh, going through the girls and <clears throat> mentioned heavily. She ain't feeling heavily because when they first met at um, Lisa Nicole's party. Um, Dr. Heavily wanted to know, like, is she a doctor? She was like, no, uh, I guess she works one of the desks, uh, at the firm. And Dr. Heavily held it, oh, you work for him, no, but we work together. And then it's the six kids, so she's like, so the other four, so they would, so you got full custody? And he's like, uh, yeah, she's, she passed away, that whole thing. So old girl is tight, feeling some kind of fucking way. I'm like, yes, please get heavily motherfucking ass two and the fuck together. What we gonna see? Okay, <clears throat> so we have. Damn, I hopefully I wrote. I trying to roll that time. I'm trying to get laundry shit done, so I might have missed something. If I did, put the shit down below. But long story short, uh, Lisa the wait. Oh fuck! I fucked up. So we got some on the quad. Might be. They sit down, talk things out. Long story short, they. Really, I mean, they talked about it, but they ain't really go in because I was expecting Quad to gather, Quad did not gather, but she pretty much just said that <clears throat> I already told you that before I have kids, I need to make sure that, you know, my money is in a certain place and at the same exact time, making sure that if the worst happens, that she ain't left holding no bag, this, that, and third. So it's one of those things where, you know, it is understandable, but I, I don't foresee Dr. Greg leaving her, especially if they have a kid, but hey, I don't know, we, we don't know what will happen I made their relationship. Mariah and Lisa Nicole get together, Lisa Nicole wants to talk about Toya, how Toya kind of went in, and Mariah whole thing is Toya is Toya, damn it, and more often than not she's the most stable because she's the one that's going to keep it all the way to 100, 1000, tell you the truth from again into the motherfucking end. So Mariah wants to have a fucking party, try to bring everybody back together, bring that unity back, so we'll see how that go. Y'all gotta excuse me if y'all hear me smacking because I had some nana bread. I, I, I know y'all see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Shit's delicious, okay? Get 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 you some, okay? Don't be just throwing away bananas and shit. Put this banana bread. Anyway, so Toy's on the phone with Heavily. She brings up Janice. How Janice feels some kind of way, but she don't want to spill the tea just yet. But she gonna get a pick up for drinks. I ain't gonna talk about it. So Toya, only storyline they got is you know the tax problems and whatnot. So she gonna sit here and she gonna be the stirrer of us for shit. Which we need somebody third party every now and the motherfucking then. So okay, I guess Toy is it. Simone. Speaking with her husband, uh, Cecil, they're talking about her father and more or less how, you know, she's wondering if she should reconnect. So it's this whole, I mean, I try to be insensitive, but this whole thing again. And at the same as that time, I was like, I can somewhat, I can sympathize and I can fucking empathize because damn it, I'd have been there. Like I said, granted, my father was never not calling anything like that, <clears throat> but just having the distance between us and always trying to figure out if I should continue to fight and continue to try to push forward with things you know I, I know the fucking feeling I'm just saying so I'm guessing that you know hey this is gonna be the storyline for her which from the previous we know that her dad goes missing so we'll see how that plays out so quiet talking to her husband you know pretty much saying to him well first mention um the uh invitation from Ryan and also uh <clears throat> Simone and Toya also bring it up to you know heavily Toya heavily and Simona Cecil. So she brings that up and then she starts bringing up the whole house thing and how she needs for uh, him to be more uh, emotional, be, okay, support her more emotionally. Emotionally supported, there we go. He wants her to compromise more, especially with the whole kids and thing. they would have been there by now. And you know, she's like, okay, well with you being, and um, he also brings up the fact of her moving in her brother and whatnot, how he was nowhere in the planning process. And she was like, well, I, well that was my cross to bear. Now, that's one of those, well, that's some shit that can't fuck up marriage, where <clears throat> I'm not saying that he probably would have said no, but, I mean, that's his damn house, too. And I thought that she was going to say, with him not being there, because he's not always there, and when he's there, he's not always mentally there, because he's got to work on the brain, which I, I know that fucking feeling, too, shit. But... You know, she even said, and she, and quite as is she, she a good one, because she was just like, if you're not here, here, then how is bringing the baby into this? We know she don't want a kid. Quiet as a kid, he might not want one either, but, 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 she quick with it, and I'm going to give it to her. She is fucking quick with it. Go ahead, Miss Quad. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. All right, so, this is going to be the perfect way to send my ass out of bed tonight, so, you got Toya and Heavy Heavy. You are so heavy, baby. Dream girls. Um, <clears throat> and she brings up uh, Janice while they're en route to Mariah's event. First thing that Toya did. Toya, to Toya been doing some shit, okay? She ain't shit, okay? She ain't shit. So there's that. Now, you have Mariah pretty much saying how how and why everybody's there this that and the third so you're like you know making noises and shit and of course again she needs that attention on her Mariah's like what it is and she was like well I was just shocked that you <clears throat> text me and that's one of those well you know y'all probably should have maybe had that one on one especially given the fact that you know they have had such a uh, tumultuous I guess we could say relationship yeah, the same exact time, if you feel in some kind of way, why the fuck would you come? You know, because I'm that motherfucker, if I don't fuck with you, I don't come. But at the same exact time, production probably told her, uh, you go and uh, if, you, if, you, if you want these coins to just, and apparently you need it. <clears throat> so, Mariah was just like, well, all of what we've been through, none of it, you know, I guess was great enough for us to fall out. Now, I'm just like, you know, again, apparently it's water on the bridge. Now, I'm sitting there like, Mariah. She and I, we two different individuals, okay? I, <clears throat> real talk. And I, I might have spoken about this on the channel, and I'm going to go real brief through it. But my nieces and my nephew treat me like they're my motherfucking kids. I have, let's just say I bowed the fuck up on some people and almost put my hands on the fucking female because she snatched up my fucking niece. Just, and I'm being out, and, and there is an age difference, meaning that she's fucking older, but you not going to put your damn hands on my fucking niece. <clears throat> or my fucking nephew. If you if you ain't mu if you ain't mother, father, brother, or grandparents, it ain't going down. It ain't fucking going down. And it's one of those where certain transgressions, like again, I don't have kids, but certain transgressions that has happened against my nieces, 
that people have done. I don't let that shit go. Especially when I help raise man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. So God forbid if I had kids, somebody said shit to my motherfucking kid or did some shit to my okay. Bad. So if Mariah can forgive that, she is a better person than me. So then <clears throat> Toya um is asking about lick and whatnot and you know she's like you got some patron where i was like no i don't have any patron and i think it's probably because because i don't know if they had liquor there but she's probably still trying to concede this girl gonna pull patron out her motherfucking purse now i can't feel too much of a way because i mean i really can't feel yeah but you don't do that the motherfucker and then here's the thing you tacky as fuck Broke as fuck. You over there for a free fucking meal, but you you know what y'all know y'all real no. No, we're not doing that. Anyway. And then Toy you gonna bring up hold on wait. I gotta pause because I ain't done. And we at the end anyway. So Toy you gonna bring up, you know, the whole Janice and have a thing. And when I say Janice with the fucking I don't again, I don't know where she is, but I'm sorry, that was a fucking Midwest read. If I ain't never seen a motherfucking Midwest read. And you know, when I say that she had that commanding spirit where every time, it's with the exception of the very last one, but every time Heavily tried to say this, she was like, I am talking. And Heavily shut up real quick. I was like, ooh, did she meet a match? Going back and forth, back and forth, and then, you know, uh, Heavily calls her an insecure bitch. She's like, did you call me a bitch? You know, this whole fucking thing, and insecure. She's like, what, I gotta be insecure? She gives them a show to body. And okay, she has an Audi. All right, she has an Audi. I got it, any. <laughs> Shows on the body this and third, but I will say, you know, everybody was raised differently, and I have to remind myself of this when I'm dealing with people. Everybody was raised differently, you know, because there are certain triggers that, that I have where it's gonna send me, you know, from zero to hundred real quick. And the whole going so far into somebody's fucking like relationship, I mean. I don't know if Janice watches this show, but that's one of those where I would do what the fuck in for blood. Be like, so you call him daddy? Like I would do what the fuck in, but hold, hold learn. Let me, cause it's it's done. Let me finish watching this. We gonna wrap it up, and then I'm gonna check the deuces. I'm gonna take my ass to bed, so I'll be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> it's pretty much over. So the whole back and forth happened. First of all, if y'all didn't watch the episode, shame on you. Go back and watch the episode. If it, and then just go to like the last 10, 15 fucking minutes. Just watch that sh that fucking shade down, read down. Shit was everything. I, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If y'all expect me to give y'all play by play, y'all got the wrong fucking channel. Okay, we, we just, I'm, I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. Motherfucker gotta be up early in the morning. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I gotta be up early in the morning. Catch that. Anyway, <laughs> that shit's. Mm, shit, I almost choked up the damn uh, saliva. It's over. Choir pretty much just lets I heavily know. She's like, you are a beautiful person. Bad to differ. Um, but your delivery and your approach can be fucking horrendous. And rather than um, heavily accepting that, because, again, she's already on the defense because she feels attacked. Um, you know, she pretty much kind of throws that back at Choir. Choir, like, you know what? Like, it is what it is. But you do realize you called her a bitch, right? You might want to apologize for that. To kind of smooth things over and she apologizes and toya messy ass again i can't be too damn mad because again they giving us what the fuck we need she's like so is there anything else on the table and we're gonna see lisa nicole pick her in but what i will say <clears throat> toya you ain't shit <laughs> you ain't shit it was a real for real for real like i i don't know if she really does have friends and how can you sit here and instigate the fight and then in your confessional sit here and talk about the whole shade down read down now we're all smart enough to know that they film the confessionals for what it's worth if not well after some time after they've already filmed so that might lead me to believe that some shit might have went down between her and heavily i don't know but we shall see but that is all that i have for this marriage master actually before i cut it off <clears throat> For those y'all know I'm a big ass kid at heart, you know I'm, I'm a ten year old and a twenty nine year old body. But um, tell me why Mariah wearing that green? She looked like um, you know Fang from Dave the Barbarian, you know in later hosen. Y'all check that out. Y'all let me know. <laughs> it, it, am I the only one that saw that? Maybe I'm the only one that saw that. Okay, maybe, maybe she's looking for them damn lucky charms. But that's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys. Pa, no, not tomorrow.
possibly that's what given out the week after. If y'all don't know what's happening, check out my um, update video I did on day earlier today, and y'all will know what it is. All right, y'all, peace.